Well, that's not good. This seemed to work. Mostly. that that sunrise is like only God can create a sunrise that beautiful It is so cold, I cannot feel my fingers, but it's worth it. Good morning, everyone. Today is Thursday, uh, day 22. So I wasn't late to Ms. Bible Group this morning because I overslept uh, so guys sorry about that I was up really late editing a video no excuse cool I hope you like the time lapses from this morning uh, the scenery it was just so amazing but it is cold it is so cold I have my gloves on and my hands are still freezing yeah my neighbor Brandon just started his truck must be nice having a remote start morning doing good how are you so yeah let's go ahead and get this day started hi Day 22, today we're looking at Proverbs 18.21 uh, and it states that death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat its fruit. Basically what I get out of this is, is that we need to be held responsible for what we say. What we say has repercussions, good and bad. And if you're willing to accept that, of course, then you'll bear the fruit. There's power in our tongue. Basically, we need to just look at it as for good or evil, the man must take the consequences of his words. Whatever actions that you do, whatever things you say, you must be held accountable for. So either you say good things or you say bad things. I'm not going to tell you what to say. No one should tell you what to say. But you be willing and ready to take the consequences for your actions or the words that you say, regardless of how you say them, if they're good or evil. Interesting commentary. It's called the Biblical Illustrated Commentary. It says the power of speech. It says of all powers that man possesses, there is scarcely any more awful than the power of speech. It is a godlike power. Human speech, no mere evolution from the cry of animals. Speech became possible on earth only when the earth there appeared to one in whom the divine spirit had breath of life and made a living soul. It is because the origin of speech is divine that words have such awful power. Consider what a word is. From the materialist point of view, it is but a slight agitation of the particles of the air around us. Nothing feebler, nothing more evanescent can be conceived, yet the word can make or mar a human life. That word can fill a home with gladness or despair. Whoa. So, today, day 22, daily Bible verse, Proverbs 18, 21. So, basically, we need to look at it this way. Your words can either do great good or great evil. Use them wisely. You need to be ready to, need to, be ready to take the consequences for the words you say. But in my personal opinion, we need to be using our words for good, to build up, not to tear down. God's love, Jesus' love that he showed for us, is a builder, not a destroyer. So just be ready. When we say things, are they hurtful or helpful? Hopefully they're helpful. So remember, as always, be kind, don't be mean, and love one another. Yeah, God. Good job. Well, you can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Hope my thumbnail's gonna be good today. I was holding the sun in my hand. It was really cold. It's so cold. It's cold, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold.
That didn't really happen. I just moved and the camera like was just filming. So yeah, nothing interesting happened here.